What's up, Fight Fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. Five, five. You know what it is. Hey, man, and this is, this is the motherfucking Two Hands Up show. Let's go. Okay, so we have a changing of the guard. We have a changing of the rankings. We have a new big dog heralding at number one in the heavyweight division, and I am perfectly okay with that. We have Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. He is ranked number one across all sanctioning bodies, and um, I'm going to give you guys a little uh, look at the current WBA, WBO, IBF, and WBC ranking so you can get an understanding about where all of the heavyweights are ranked across the board. But as of right now, it sits. Tyson Fury is number one on ring. Um, Dillian White is number two. No, not Dillian White. I'm sorry. Deontay Wilder is number two, and Andy Ruiz is number three. Now, Ring Magazine, they do their ranking system a little bit differently, and I absolutely love them for that because Ring Magazine, they base their rankings off of truly who they feel as though is the best and who will beat who. You know, I mean, ranking, all of that goes into play, but to be perfectly honest, Tyson Fury doesn't hold any belts, but Deontay Wilder does. But, you know, we are very keen to the fact of knowing that Tyson Fury really beat Deontay Wilder and he got robbed. So I can understand why um, Deontay Wilder is coming in at number two, being undefeated and still holding the WBC. Anthony Joshua just got knocked off and Andy Ruiz will be at number three, considering Andy Ruiz can't beat um, Tyson Fury. Um, Tyson Fury would dance on him all night. Um, Deontay Wilder can't beat Tyson Fury. He would dance on him all night. The only person I truly believe has a shot at beating Tyson Fury and can really beat him, um, I feel as though Anthony Joshua. I think he'll walk down, walk through his punches, get on the inside on him, and clean him up with an uppercut. But that is yet to be seen. Now, Tyson Fury stayed on the outside and danced on him all night. You know what I'm saying? Tyson could clearly outpoint him. We know that Tyson Fury is the baller, the ballerina big guy of the heavyweight division, and he moves better, and he has a better... He has a better pop shot, pocket jab game than anybody in the heavyweight division right now. So, yes, Tyson Fury is definitely deserving of being at the number one spot. Um, you know, that's why I like ring. And, um, you know, so if Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder faced off, um, whoever won that match would get the ring magazine belt. Now, when you're in possession on such of a, a prestigious piece of hardware, such as the Ring Magazine belt, I don't think people understand the complicated situ um, stipulations that go along with having the Ring Magazine belt. Having the Ring Magazine belt means you're above and never below of anybody in the division. I don't care what he says, she says, says. That Ring Magazine means that you are clearly the number one champion and the best in the world. That's why when most guys unify the divisions and they become clear, the clear number one, and they take out the number two, they inherit that belt but the thing about having the ring magazine belt is you must be facing a top eight opponent every a top 10 opponent or is it like a top five opponent every eight months i believe don't quote me on that i'm about 80 percent correct that the information i just gave you was right but if anybody feels differently you already know how i like you know y'all know how i get down y'all can um quickly tell me in the comments so therefore you know it is very hard work you know what i'm saying maintaining and keeping that piece of metal but to have some clarity in the heavyweight division due to the fact Anthony Joshua lost, I'm not wishing any loss on anybody, but somebody had to lose. You know, we need some clarity in this division. I'm tired of this three-headed monster talk. I'm tired of hearing this he say, she said. These guys really, really, really need to get it on. So, even though Anthony Joshua lost the, um, lost his belt to Andrew Ruiz, we know there's a rematch clause, and I'm just finding out um, via Teddy Atlas on the inside that, you know, um, the percentage on the rematch clause really didn't change that much. So that $50 million that Andy Ruiz is seeking, he is not going to get, ladies and gentlemen. He's only, um, if he won those belts, which he did, his um, contract is only stipulated that where they have to pay him $10 million and he has to go over in the UK and fight. So that's just how the cookie crumbles. So, you know, I'm surprised a lot of these media outlets didn't explain this to, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the viewers in such an elaborate way that, you know what I'm saying, I myself did and Ring IQ did when we broke it down saying, hey, you know, just because you become the guy doesn't mean that you're going to get a $50 million payday. You're going to have to do whatever the uh, rematch clause stipulates. But, you know, I broke that guy down to you. So, you know, um, <clears throat> let's continue to move on. As I was saying about Anthony Joshua taking his loss. 
someone had to do it and unfortunately it was him but you know that changes the narrative a little bit you know we can stop this conversation about Deontay Wilder we can stop this conversation about Anthony Joshua for a little bit and we have a new you know what I'm saying man sitting at the throne so we can have the conversation uh have different conversations and it can you know what I'm saying the narrative can definitely change to something a little bit more fruitful in the heavyweight division considering Andy Ruiz breathed new life in it and I love Anthony Joshua and I believe that he will come back and be victorious in the rematch but that is down the road, and this is the um, conversation at hand right now. So, you know, the heavyweight division had a shakeup. So now I'm going to bring up all of the different, um, all of the rankings across all of the sanctioning bodies in the heavyweight division, and I'm going to show you guys who stacks up where and what could possibly happen due to the IBF, WBLO, et cetera, et cetera. All right, now here are the rankings across the board as the um the transitional, um, as the uh, TBRB um, states that, you know, their champion is vacant right now, but Andy Ruiz sits at number one, Tyson Fury number two, Deontay Wilder number three, Anthony Joshua number four, Dillian White number four. The Ring Magazine, Tyson Fury is number one, Deontay is number two, Andy Ruiz is number three, Anthony Joshua is number four, and Dillian White still number five. Um, we have the WBA, Andrew Ruiz is um, the super champion, Manuel Char being the regular champion, Tw Trevor Bryan at number one, Ustik at number two, Fred uh, Kendo at number three, Dillian White at number four, Andy Ruiz at number five. Then we have the WBC with Deontay Wilder, of course, at one, at the champion, D I mean, Dillian White at one, Tyson Fury at two, Luis Ortiz at three, Dominic Brazil at four, and Adam Kalnaki at five. Then moving on, we have Andy Ruiz as champion at the one. Excuse me, champion of the IBF, Andy Ruiz. Kubrat Pulev at number one. Um, the number two spot is vacant. Ajit Kabayel at number three. And number four is Adam Kalnaki. And then at the WBO, we have Oscar Rivas at four. Tyson Fury at three. Excuse me, Tyson Fury at three. Tom Schwartz at two. Dillian White at one, and Andy Ruiz at the champion. Then at the IBO, we have Andy Ruiz at one, Tyson Fury at two, Dillian White at three, Alexander Povetkin at, no, I'm sorry, Andy, um, Alexander Povetkin at three, Kubrat Pulev at four, and the Ruiz being the champion, and Tyson Fury being the number one. So that's the way the rankings are set right now, and that's the way it looks for the big dogs in the heavyweight division. Now, that's quite the shakeup across all of the sanctioning board. So, you know, I mean, there could be a change. Dillian White could be getting his just due. That is if Anthony, Anthony Joshua doesn't come through and seal the deal, which I believe that he will. But, you know, those are the rankings. You know, I feel as though Tyson Fury is, you know, the number one guy. And clearly and accurately deserves his just due. So with Ring Magazine putting him in number one, I truly believe they are looking at the styles and I truly believe they're looking at who can beat who here. And um, I truly believe that Tyson Fury could beat him. We already know he can beat Wilder. The only thing that's yet to be seen is Joshua. And God, I would really love to see that fight. That is too good. That is a very good fight where their styles will mirror and be very complex for one another. But that remains to be seen. Anthony Joshua has to come out and perform when he gets back in the UK, which I think that 90K for Andy Ruiz will be highly overwhelming. But yeah, man, Tyson Fury is number one. So if we can get that rematch as Deontay Wilder is claiming we will with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, we could clearly see a Ring Magazine champion. Now, Deontay Wilder, I don't think he'll want that responsibility. Because Deontay Wilder would have to stay actively with every eight months with a top tier opponent. And I'm not talking about no top 15. I'm talking about top 10 and below that. You know what I mean? So he would have to come in every eight months and he would have to fight a top tier guy. And Deontay Wilder, we know he's not willing to do that every eight months. So, you know, um, Tyson Fury, I think, you know, when they face off, I think Deontay Wilder might be avoiding that and just might be trying to give people something to hang on to to believe that he's going to face Tyson Fury again because I truly believe that he knows Tyson Fury is going to put him on the canvas. And if you haven't seen Tyson Fury lately, God damn, that boy is in shape and he is ready to go. So that is all I got for you today, fans. Tyson Fury is number one across the Ring Magazine and TRB. Excuse me, TBRB.
Tyson Fury is number one across TPRB, and he is in the top five in a lot of the sanctioned bodies. So Tyson Fury is definitely deserving of being that number one. Um, Ty Deontay Wilder, you know, believe it or not, regardless of his record, he is deserving of being at that number two spot. But the division needs to have a shakeup, and we need to get these fights done. So can we get it on? Because if Anthony Joshua loses to Andy Ruiz, we already know Andy's coming for that belt. And both of those guys being under the PBC umbrella, Al Heyman is going to make that fight. And how super fights is something that the Hamanites are really going to make happen. Of course, when it comes to the PBC and keeping all of that money in-house, they are going to make that fight happen. But like I said, Andy Ruiz has a tall order, and he has to get past um, Anthony Joshua first. And I still believe that Anthony Joshua is, you know what I mean, at the tops in the division. But like I said, he has to reclaim that by putting the work in, and we will see what type of mind state he's in going forward when it comes to him training, getting in the ring. And what he possesses coming forward after that loss. But I think he has the heart of a champion and it will be proven. So as we always say when we close this joint now, it costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. Tyson Fury, number one on the ranking as far as Rings uh, Magazine is concerned. Um, him and Deontay Wilder need to get it on so we can have a clear Ring Magazine champion considering that Tyson Tyson Fury already knows what that feels like. But Tyson Fury only has two credible fights too. So let's not remember that. He's only fought Vladimir Klitschko and Deontay Wilder, you know, even though he's beat both of those guys. But outside of that, he's fought nothing but cab drivers as well. So, you know, I can't really, you know what I'm saying, as far as his style, I can say, you know, yeah, he's at the top right now, but it still remains to be seen. Because, ladies and gentlemen, these guys truly need to get in the ring and they need to fight. And like I said, you know, there's a big shakeup in the heavyweight division right now with the Anthony Joshua loss, as I keep repeating to you guys. So that's all I got. Once again, as we always say, when we close out, it costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. This is, you know what I'm saying, your fearless leader, 3K the boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. Bop, bop, you know what it is. And this is, this is the Two Hands Up show. Thank you all for tuning in with me. Respect.